So a few videos ago, we solved the uh, homogeneous case for this differential equation. So now we're looking at the right-hand side. And in this case, we've actually got two different types of function. We've got a linear function, the 6x take away 5, and we've got an exponential function. So what we need to do is take account of both of these situations. So with our trial function, we need to take care of the linear part, so have ax plus b, but we also need to take care of the exponential part. So I'm going to use, well I've used c down here, but I'll, I'll use c up here. Uh, so c e to the x. Okay, so this is going to be my trial function. So I need dy by dx, which would be a plus c e to the x, and I need d2y by dx squared, which would just be c e to the x. So now substituting in, the second derivative is c e to the x, take away 5 lots of dy by dx, so take away 5a, take away 5c e to the x, plus 6 lots of y, so plus 6ax plus 6b, plus 6ce to the x. And that's got to be equal to 6x take away 5 plus 2e to the x. Right, let's tidy this up. So the left-hand side, uh, we have 6ax. Then the constant term, we've got the minus 5a and the 6b. So plus minus 5a plus 6b. And then for the e to the x's, we've got c e to the x, take away 5c e to the x, that's minus 4c e to the x. Then we've got 6c to the x, so we'll have plus 2c e to the x. And that's got to be equal to the 6x, take away 5, plus 2e to the x. So the coefficient of the x has got to be the same. So we've got the 6a equaling 6, so a must be equal to 1. Substitute that in here, we're going to get minus 5 plus 6b must be equal to minus 5. So that means that b is going to have to be 0. And the coefficient of e to the x here has got to be the same here, so 2c must be equal to 2, so c must be equal to 1. So we now have the particular integral that we can add on to our complementary function. So plus a lots of x, so plus x, plus b, which is 0, plus c e to the x, so plus e to the x. And so that is my general solution to the second order differential equation.